What do you think of when you hear the name Rothschild? Wealth and fame, perhaps? We wouldn't blame you because that is exactly what the family represents. You probably know the family matriarch, Mari Amschel Rothschild, who was the first to set up a bank and run it. As it is, the family invented international finances as you and I know it. However, there are so many other interesting and lesser known facts about this family, and in today's video, we are going to discuss 10 of them. Buckle up because we bet you are going to be blown away. Number 1. They had a hand in Napoleon's defeat Remember in history class when you read about the French military and the political leader Napoleon? Well, as it turns out, the Rothschilds may have had a hand in his infamous Waterloo defeat. You're probably wondering when this family became so wealthy that they had the power to do such a thing seeing as Napoleon existed in the 1800s. The thing is that the family was already rich at the time of Napoleon's wars. In 1813, Nathan Meyer Rothschild joined the fight by financing the British side in a bid to help end the wars. The amount he donated then is the equivalent of $900 million today. Number 2. They played a part in helping Brazil attain its independence. In the initial years of the 19th century, Brazil was trying to recover its independence from its colonizers, Portugal. Like any other country that was fighting for its independence, that translated to war. Needless to say, after numerous battles, Portugal had to comply, but not as expected. The thing was that Portugal agreed to give Brazil its independence if they, Brazil, paid for the honor. The audacity! Anyways, this is when Nathan Meyer Rothschild stepped in. Portugal was demanding 2 million sterling, which Rothschild paid. However, Brazil had to first agree to clear off any debt owed to the Rothschild company by the Portuguese government. Just from the interest, it must have brought in lucrative returns. That just shows you how much power and influence the Rothschild family had on political matters. Number 3. They owned the biggest private zoo Lord Walter, a member of the Rothschild family, was a zoology enthusiast. As a child, he used to collect insects and animals. It was therefore sort of surprising when he joined banking, but we can kind of understand that because it was a family business. Nevertheless, in 1908, his parents opened a zoological museum, and that is when he broke free and started exploring the world for different animal species. So passionate was Walter that he enlisted other explorers to collect for him. At some point, he even used a carriage pulled by zebras just to prove that other animals could be tamed. His collection of insects and animals continued to grow to a point where the zoo turned out to be the largest in history to be owned by one person. Number 4. The family runs one of the biggest mining companies globally. Rio Tinto is a mining company with its headquarters in Melbourne, Australia. What you probably do not know is that it was founded by Rothschild Family Venture. The story behind it was that it was founded by a team of investors in 1873. They had bought it as a mine complex from the Spanish government. As the 1800s were coming to a close, the Rothschild family started its involvement with the company and their production grew. Currently, the company produces diamond, coal, uranium, copper, iron ore, and more. Moreover, it is now an international company that runs through numerous subsidiaries. It is even rumored that the Queen of England is a shareholder in the company via a private bank account. As you may have guessed, mining is just one of the ventures that the Rothschild family is involved in. Number 5. The family comes from a line of cousins For the average person, intermarrying is not encouraged, but royal families do it all the time, especially in the past. This was the same thing that happened with the Rothschild. Cousin marriages were common for years as it was viewed as a way of keeping financial, noble, and royal statuses contained and stratified. The patriarch of the Rothschild family, Mayor Armshel Rothschild, certainly embraced this way of thinking because he was at the forefront of limiting female members of the family when it came to who they could marry. This was particularly true if they wanted an inheritance. If they chose to marry outside of the family, they had to forfeit their inheritance and, as you may have guessed, most of them chose to keep their wealth. From Mare's view, marrying amongst cousins was the best way to keep outsiders hands off of the family wealth. 6. They determine gold prices Yeah. That's right. If you intend to buy gold, just know the price has something to do with the decision made by the Rothschild family. The Rothschild family, along with some of their colleagues, are the top traders in the precious metal industry and began convening twice a day in 1919 just to set the price of gold. Consequently, gold turned out to be one of the most valuable assets for the family and a benchmark in international markets. So how did these meetings go? Well, some participants sent their representatives to the family's offices where the Rothschild would then raise the Union Jack. When all flags were lowered, it meant that they had agreed on a price. 
These meetings went on from 1919 to 2004 when Barclays Bank took over the Rothschild family position. 7. They are associated with several conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories are usually outrageous, and they are often made about the rich and famous. Of course, the Rothschild family fits that description. The family also likes to keep a low and private profile, so it doesn't come as a surprise that it is tied to several of the conspiracy theories going around. One of the most notable theories is that the family has a heavy influence over the U.S. Federal Reserve, and this is a topic under hot debate to date. Another one is that the family is linked to secret societies such as the Illuminati and Freemasons. This mainly stems from a rumor that the family was present during the signing of World War I. This led people to believe that the Rothschild were part of the agreement that allowed them to take over the Bavarian Illuminati. Of course, there are more rumors, but these two persist to this day. Number 8. They Throw Bizarre Parties In 1972, photos from a party held by the Rothschild family emerged. Now, it is very normal for parties to be thrown and for pictures to be taken. So why was this one different? Well, the party was quite strange and it starts with the invitations which were sent in reverse. For one to read them, they had to hold up a mirror in front of the invitation cards. Anyways, it gets spookier. Once the guests arrived at the venue, all the lights in the front were red. Guests were also required to wear animal style masks and hats. Now, normal parties do not go down like that, so it doesn't seem far off when people come up with conspiracy theories linking the family to secret societies. Wouldn't you agree? Number 9. Some family members were nobody. The founder of the family, Mayor Amschel Rothschild's sons, were members of the Austrian Emperor Francis I's Austrian aristocracy. This was in 1816 and 1818 where Jacob, Kalman, Nathan, Solomon, and Armstrong Meyer were upgraded by the governor of the status of Barnes. To date, some members of the family like to style their names with D or Vaughn as that refers to the noble status that was bestowed upon them. Other family members who attained the status include Nathan Mayor Rothschild II and Anthony Rothschild, who were made baron and baronet, respectively. Number 10. The family story has been told on screen and stage. Film directors like to tell stories about famous and influential people by making movies, documentaries, and plays about them. It therefore doesn't surprise us that there are fictionalized stories about the family. In 1934, a film titled The House of Rothschild, starring George Arliss and Loretta Young, was created. It portrayed the lives of both Nathan Mayer Rothschild and Mayor Armstrong Rothschild. Aside from that, there was The Rothschild, a Broadway musical that covered the family's history leading up to 1818. The musical was such a hit that in 1971 it was nominated for a Tony. Now, the family does show up in other fictional pieces when not featuring in stories about them. Those are the 10 lesser known facts about the Rothschild. Did you learn anything new? What stood out most for you? Let us know in the comments section. Please also like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more. See you next time in our next one.